Well, you can back up and go side to side at the same time, Craig. On a donkey. Oh my god. <laughs> Go okay. Where'd it go? Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Look at this donkey, Craig. Craig, do you see this? Do you see? Do you see this? It stopped. Where is it? Where the hell did it go? This is the fast one. This one seems the same. Wow. This backing up seems the same. It's over oh, here, yeah. flipping out. Why do we have three? I think I found the non-manageable one. Yes, I did. <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't laugh. You might wake up Sarah. Don't laugh. I have the fast one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it glitches out. I mean, yeah, because I'm tapping it. Let me see if I just hold it. Yeah, I see that, but uh, I'm just at the end of the tunnel watching this thing flipping out in front of me. <clears throat> I can. I can. <laughs> Okay, I killed the super fast one. Oh my god. Chest fucking hurts. Okay, danger zone now. Backing up. Okay. Let's see here. Whew, okay.
What's up, Rebecca? I could break this cookie without making a sound. Okay. But you need your ears. Is it broken? I didn't hear anything. Talking to you? Yes, I'm asking you. You told me that you can make you can do it without break without making any sound, and I'm asking you if you did it. Yes, I did. Are you on a Oh no, it touched you and died a fiery death. <laughs> okay then. <coughs> I need to get some more cobblestone so I can clear this out. You had two cookies. <laughs> That's okay. Craig, I've been digging while well, you've been dicking around on your donkeys. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of all these. We have plenty of lava, and you can create lava blocks now, so it's actually not a big deal. Can I see? I cannot show you here and now, but uh, we can sh we can look at it later. <laughs> yeah, we're underground right now. It's just sort of we're we're building a tunnel. To, to nowhere for no real reason your uncle craig has dubbed it operation fargo Talking to me. rebecca you're the only person here who has an uncle craig so yes i am talking to you you're right you're talking to people on the headset all the time Okay. This section has been completed. This is similar to what you just said because you're always talking to the microphone on Uncle Craig or someone else, like someone in Rust or Payday. And just don't talk to me. You're right. Because everyone is wearing stuff. When did I tell you what? When did you tell me that you have two brothers? I don't remember the first time I told you that I have I two think brothers. It was four. Yeah, four. Pretty sure it was before you were four. Oh, three. What is this? A cave? Well, this is a good stopping point, I guess. And then leave it to oh, okay. Well, a couple of creepers. Okay. They just surprised me. Did you me. get poked at the edge of that? No, I didn't get poked. It's okay. And I took the sharp edges off of that particular one, actually. Definitely still sharp for me. It's much less sharp than it was. Can I please poke you? It should be okay. Like, the poking shouldn't matter, actually. How can he go through? Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> it's... 
As long as it's in the room. It'll be fine. It's okay, Rebecca. <clears throat> it's not for work, so it's okay. I And I have a couple more of those, I think. I think I got six of those. <clears throat> I know you love presents. Yes. I always love them when I was a kid. Because I was born when I was Christmas to have presents every year. That's right. She gets things all the time anyway. Yes, I get the homonym joke. <laughs> yes, I made you a, a purse. Not a purse. A, what is it called? A bag. It's a bag, but it has a name. Tote bag. Yeah, tote bag. I made you your own custom tote bag. Yeah, and that's the most specialist resin. Hey skeleton, go ahead, shoot me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yep. Bye bye. <laughs> it's dead. Sorry. That is the second one. This one that I see. And are the rest of them also purple? Yes, they're all purple. I can just tell you where they are. They're in that pouch right there. That's got purple writing on it. <laughs> Rebecca, it's kind of important that you don't go wandering and pulling things off the shelf because you could drop something on your head. So I really don't want you doing that. You can see the rest of them. You can just take the pouch that I, I told you where they are already. But I don't want you looking through everything over there because if you pull on stuff, you're likely to pull something down onto your head. I need to be very careful because this is your You think I'm not too good at organizing? That's because this is this room is a The books are very organized. The books are actually not even that organized. The two bookshelves are full, and I got books everywhere. Okay, I think I tried to make one and I failed. And then I don't know where that one is. I think there should be five total because I got six. So you should have the one that I trimmed and then <laughs> hey, welcome back. Now, yes, like I just told you, Rebecca, I think I bought six total and then I tried to make, I tried to assemble one of them and I failed miserably. I don't know where that one went, so you should end up with five there. And I also 
So I like this ash person. You I like the purple? Something tickling more a part of me. Olympic fire. Okay, I was about to say, what, what, what you mean like a jellyfish? <laughs> well, it's possible that they spawn in the water or something. Hey, Rebecca, I want to keep them all organized and in that pouch, so don't destroy the pouch. And when you're done with them, put them back. You don't have to put them back now. But they should all be identical, so it's not going to be that exciting to to look at all all of them. I have looked at all of them. <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay. Stop placing torches when you catch on fire from the lava. Rebecca, how about you put it back where it was? I was backing up into it. Oh. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> I got your hand here. Go ahead and lean. Yeah, that's fine. Leave it there. So you didn't fall over. What does this say, Rebecca? Parabola. Parabola sciences. That's right. What does this say? Anoyatron, 9000, 16 millimeter edition. It's supposed to take a 16, uh, 16 something, what's it, 1625, what, whatever the, the smaller coin cells are. Pro programming, remove battery before programming, because the power circuitry is not good. No, it would, uh, um, try to remember. No, I mean, the battery is only like three something volts. I think it has to do with, uh, what? No, there's no like USB chip. It would only take the power and it doesn't have a power. It doesn't have a USB port on it. It has a programming header. Um, the the programming uh in this case it's an st specific one actually let me see that what was on here this one i believe this yeah so it's yeah u1 is sot 70 size this is supposed to be an at tiny something or another which i have there's this there's this company from Bulgaria called Olimex that makes like cloned dev tools. So I got an, an Atmel programming. What in the world? No, I don't have a bucket on me. Okay. <laughs> it threw them down. It threw them down the stairs here and just like spread out all over the place. Why do you need a bucket? How does that work? Why can I not pick up any of these buckets? <laughs> I will pick up. Okay. 
What in the world? Like this? <laughs> you look like you just threw up. <laughs> you look like you just vomit out buckets. It's so funny. Uh, okay. That's enough buckets. It's okay. No, I won't. What are you going to do? <sighs> okay. That's fine. Yeah, I like Osh Park, but you know, if it costs me like $35 and a week to get it from Osh Park and I get like six copies, say, you know, or I can get 30 copies for like $30 from fucking Hong Kong. Just... Yeah. <laughs> Unless Osh Park's starting to get You know, if if Osh Park does assembly, I would totally do assembly with Osh Park. What? What, Craig? You can't just say that and then not say anything after. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. What's going on in the back? What are you doing? Don't put one down here <laughs> unless you want to do a backup and then like do it or you can do it in the other world or something. I thought you could force one. Okay, then let's see here. Oh, you found my headphone stand? Yeah, because I thought you needed it. I might be able to use it, but it just takes up a lot of desk space. And since I'm not using the headphones that this fits, I don't need need it generally. Oh, okay. Just just hang on a second, Rebecca.
Rebecca, what's going on? I know, but that's why. Stop. Yeah, it's not. It's not normal. Not a No, I'm mute now. The uh. I got What? Oh, why is Sarah's? Why is that thing down there? What the heck are you doing, Craig? What what is going on down here? <laughs>
guys. I'm telling Rebecca that it's hard to find hibiscus syrup. And also, these colors, green is perfect, Christmas color, and it looks like it is chocolate mint. We got it! Chocolate mint. Yeah, we can do chocolate mint. We have that and outside. The chocolate mint is the decoration, and we need to do it there. We need to make this face very soon because the chocolate mint is going to die. The chocolate mint's not going to die. It's just the, the first the first set of stems is basically done. You can Ooh, cut them off. I don't know how to say how to say that word. How to say what word? This word, and it looks like it's Swiss card and Swiss shard. Swiss shard. Uh huh. And pinto, whatever it's called. Pinto beans. Pinto bean burrito. Swiss shard and pinto bean burrito does not sound like a classic Mexican dish. Like, ground beef tacos. Ground beef tacos does sound like a standard Ooh, that's my thing. Well, I've made tacos for you before, and you only... Well, you'll eat them. I think you like the soft tacos. It's soup. Taco soup? Craig, why? It's beef tacos. It's ground beef I'm going to take that. And it looks like it's made out of beef. Hey, it's made out of beef stuff. But I think with some pumpkin. We don't have any pumpkins right now. We don't have any pumpkins, you're right. I think we need pumpkins for this recipe. Let's just try it with pumpkins. Hey, that reminds me of pumpkin pie. Do you know how to make pumpkin pie? Chicken, whatever it's called, whatever it's called. Okay. Chicken, whatever it's called, whatever it's called. It's chicken, pardo, pardo, almost called. Where? This oh, pozole verde. Chicken, chicken. pozole verde. I have no idea. I've never heard of that before. Hey, look. A burrito Burrito pizza? That also doesn't sound like a classic Mexican dish. Excuse me. That's what you put on pumpkin slices. What pumpkin slices go on a burrito pizza? Wait, what are you looking at? This. Mushroom and Swiss shard quesadillas. Now that doesn't sound as quite as unreasonable, but it still doesn't sound good because Swiss chard tastes like dirt. It's like it's like beets, but like way worse. Every time I eat them, I feel like, but did they wash these? <laughs> Arugula tastes like bitter garbage. If we didn't have what? parsley for our bitter herbs, Craig, we would be eating fucking arugula. Bitterest herb of them all. I really hate it when people are like, oh, if you put arugula and this blueberry jam together, it'll be great. I'm like, no, you just put the fucking blueberry jam. It's all you need. <laughs> Why make it? Sprinkle the sauce and chunky guacamole. It looks like they just didn't squish it enough. They just didn't. They just didn't mix the guacamole enough. The avocado and sprinkle of sauce. Yeah, avocado, lime juice, and then like other ingredients that actually make a guacamole instead of just avocado. 
Tomatoes. No, no tomatoes. The guacamole is really easy. It's avocados, some lime juice, garlic. Yeah, not avocados. Garlic, onion, some peppers, like. Yeah. yeah, we need a Mexican. So we need a Mexican. <laughs> Doesn't taste good. Maybe. Where are these creepers coming from? Oh, this weird cave over here. Oh, hi. Go ahead, hit me. I dare you. Bye. It's fine. I have another 64 gunpowder. What'd you say, Rebecca? What 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 with tomatoes? Oh, the two tomato salsa. Interesting. We have tomatoes growing in the garden, so and and peppers. So we need so they're good cooked. Okay. Like when you remove all the tomato flavor from them, they're great. In a colander, tomatoes. okay. So we get a can of diced tomatoes? It should say in the instructions, Rebecca, like in the previous list. Chives. Well, so these are two separate recipes. This is avocados. See, cilantro is horrible. <laughs> okay, let's not. Cilantro. Jalapenos. We have jalapenos growing. Um, red onion. We're actually growing red onion, too. Lime juice. We're not growing limes. And garlic and salt. Yeah, that's, that's pretty... They're only missing... Well, let's see. No, they're not missing anything, really. But the proportions look off, because I can only see green, and you should be able to see onion. If it's any good, at least. What I don't like is the, is the type that's, like, been put in a blender. It's just, like, unnaturally smooth. Where does it say? Cut. One and a half pounds tomatoes cored and cut into one half inch pieces. Cut. Hmm. Cut Finely chopped. Yep. Finely chopped. It tells the number of them to the left. So it doesn't just say cup. It says one quarter cup. What about this one? That's one half. And what about the spoon? What a half. This is one large jalapeno. Two teaspoons lime juice. We could make that whenever the tomatoes actually grow. We've got a couple outside, by the way, that they're that are growing, small, Rebecca. Small, 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 clove. Clove. Mm -hmm. Almost sounds like clover. Very it small. does. The last one is sugar. Sugar. For the salsa? <laughs> but the essence of Eugene, correct? Like I don't like cilantro. You, I don't know if you've ever had it. To, you said it's 10 wide, Craig, right? Yeah. But you mean like so long. 
Oh, well, maybe. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Ten. There we go. I hate gravel. Uh, what is this called? Hey, how? Tomatillo salsa. And what? You could make those? Okay. I would never make ah. them. Ah. It says homemade tortilla. Tortilla. Tortilla chip. Oh, God. I want Homemade tortilla chips? You, you fry. Yeah, hi. You just take tortillas and you fry them. That's how you get tortilla chips. Oh god. So pack pumpkin seed dip. Oh, I wanna have that. Pumpkin seed pie. Pumpkin seed pie? Yeah, because it has pumpkin and I think it does say seed, so it's a pumpkin seed pie. Dip pie? Oh god, I'm gonna need this. Pumpkin seed dip. I've pie. never heard of that. It's... Yeah. I think that's cilantro. I know, I don't That sounds like it could be greater. Okay. Which word? This one. Unhold. So one and a half cups of roasted unhold pumpkin seeds. One pound of tomatoes. Four and half. Yeah, you have to core tomatoes because the center part where the stem is is and not one good. And a half of course, the whole thing's not good. But, One and a half inches. One and a half inches of what? One and a half. Wait, what? Where? Here. That's one quarter. One quarter of a mm -hmm. cup of extra. One quarter cup of, of olive oil. Of virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. It just means the first and press. White onion or red onion, whichever onion that is chopped up, and two tablespoons of lime juice. One. Uh, I hate gravel. Which? Which word? Habanero chili. Habanero chili stem seeds. Ste wait, and where? Chopped. Habanero chili stemmed, seeded, and chopped. So that means you take the stem off, you take all the seeds out, and you discard them, and then you chop it up. Yes, and then you chop it up. Two ounces of crisp salt. Where? Two ounces of queso fresco. Two ounces of queso fresco. But it's a specific type of fresh cheese. It's just called fresh cheese. No, it's just, it's called queso fresco. It's just, a, it's a type of Mexican cheese. Where? No inches. There's no inches in recipes normally. One half cup. One and a half 
No, one half, not one and a half. One half. One half of a cup. Two ounces. Okay. Two tablespoons of top. Top. The cilantro. We can leave the cilantro out anytime we want. Okay. Ooh, seven layers. What? It has guacamole and. Okay, and mayo sauce. Oh, That's with margarine. With weird. What is this called? Seven layer dip. It says on and the top what of the page. Is this called the stuff on top? <laughs> you have to read the recipe. Yeah. Love the mayo sauce, and chopped fine. We're not growing any. Yeah, and I have more chests that I'm about to put down right here. Wow, that's really annoying. Are these scallions? Scallions. Scallions. Four green parts of rice and Jalapeno, pie, pie, pie. What is this called? Where? Jalapeno chilies. Jalapeno chilies, seeded. Stemmed. 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 Juicy. Minced fresh cilantro. Fresh, juicy. Uh, so, fifteen ounces can last three, but not three. Okay. We can make that dip if you want, Rebecca. Chili, Chili powder. powder. Yeah. One pound of pepper. A jack pound peas. of cheese. Pepper jack peas. A pound of cheese. Shredded, shredded Wait, was there four cups? Did, this looks like it has cream cheese here. Is that not cream cheese? Is that melted cheese? What is this doing? Oh, one and a half cup sour cream. Oh. And a recipe of guacamole. So you'd have to make the guacamole first and then make the dip. Yeah, for for the, um, oh man, the Olay dip. Oh, that green is the, is the recipe for guacamole that you saw earlier. Okay, Craig. Um, uh, do you want to keep going? <laughs> That that would take a while to make. Okay, I don't know what that chocolate is, but it is chocolate. Where's the chocolate? So there is some Mexican cooking, like the mole chicken, that's got Mexican chocolate in it, but it's not chocolate like you think of chocolate. The tomato salsa is in the bag. See? Yeah. Okay, but you eat queso fundido. What is this? Mexican style chorizo sausage. Whoa. Well, this is just like sausage and onions and peppers and cheese just all melted together. <laughs> this looks like a heart attack. <laughs> Stuffed jalapenos. Hey, 
That's totally worth doing. Ultimate beef nachos. That I'm, I'm actually starting to get really hungry again looking at these. This is not. This is, I mean, you were trying to get to this, right? You want the agua fresca? Yeah. Uh, I'll teleport in a second. Uh, we need Ooh, two cups. Be... Oh, okay, so it's yeah, saying to make our own hibiscus yeah. syrup. Okay. Margaritas are easy. Margarita mix and tequila. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, Five Okay. Turn. Okay. Cups of water. You got that. That's just easy. You just fill a bottle up with water and then put it in. Oh my a, god. A glass. And then. One cup of sugar, sugar and pink salt. Okay, what is it? Okay, we already know that we have Okay, yes, the drinks are making me hungry. The drinks are making you hungry? Yes. Margarita. You can have a virgin margarita, but that's it's pretty easy because you just pour the margarita mix into a glass. Chilled tomato soup. Yeah, we could do that. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, that was the next question I had was, can you use these to make compost? I hear it. Yes. I hear it. Extra where? Extra virgin olive oil, probably. Yeah, extra virgin olive oil. <sighs> yep. Nope. <laughs> no cilantro. No. I don't know what Mexican crema is. Yeah, but why is it Mexican cream? What? Which part? One half cup. I think we have enough glow. Whoa. <laughs> we have a fish tank. Yeah, I see. <laughs> what is this? One, three, one, two. Three and one half. Three and one half of pounds mm -hmm. tomatoes. 
Three and a half pounds is only like three of the big tomatoes that we were growing. <laughs> Hey, please don't, don't, don't bend the pages, please. Owie, 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 my legs are still sore. Okay. Sopa de albondigas. Of albondigas. What is albondigas? Meatball soup with rice and cilantro. Okay, albondigas is meatballs, I guess. Here's Here it is, chicken pasole verde. Should have put it in a tiny, like, one-by-one one fish tank. Black bean chili. Carne guisada. Ground beef tacos. You know, I should make uh, ropa vieja again. So good. Um, good question. Oh my god, it's already eleven o'clock. Rebecca, you were supposed to be in bed more than an hour ago. <laughs> uh let's see. Let's see here. Midnight. It's not midnight yet. Here. Not here. Wait, what is this? Well, then there's less there's less we have to dig out then. What I'm saying is you put the fish tank right here. Just just like make it three by three. Okay, can I please do something? I don't know. Here, you want the, the recipe thing? Do, what do you want to do on the game? So, you would go... Can you please go in there? There. We're not going in there now. Well, Craig, I couldn't just seal it up with stone again. I just thought it'd be cool to insert it into the wall here. Whew. <sighs> I'll do this. I know how to get up there. I know how to get up. So, can I please do it? Wait. We're trapped. Then we're trapped. <laughs> Okay. I got nothing to do. Okay. Whoa! Carnitas. Ooh. Okay, stop for a second. <laughs> I pressed it. Oh, well, I mean, we could do this too. <laughs> oh fat cap uh interesting rebecca what you doing let's, let's go back inside oh god this is an interesting concept Let's okay, see here. Go there. Hang on. I gotta eat. We're gonna eat two whole chickens. Okay, good. 
I have to I have to put torches down. It's very important. Or the monsters can come ruin our day. Okay. No. no. There's spaces out here that didn't have it. Okay, I think I know how to get up there. Uh, stop, Rebecca. Okay. Hi. Down here, what do you want? Okay, this is all police. Oh, we could do it like a, a full, full like zoo exhibit. We just open up the wall. Okay, that's good. Good. I'm going to kill this snowman, Craig. No! Like no! Oh. Hang on. Okay. Let's see, put that there. Yeah, snowman's dead, sorry. Is I want to get rid of the snow. Why? Axolotl don't live in what well, can. Yeah. Yeah. The snowmen are not supposed to be in here. Uh. <laughs> uh. There. Yeah. <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> That's my call of that water. <sighs> okay, we should make these carnitas because we have a couple pork butts in the freezer. They're not fishes, they're axolotl. So let's make all of that into my water. Ooh, tostadas. I wonder. Can I find. <laughs> Can I. Can I find a recipe for axolotl tacos? Yeah. You know, it really does have a recipe in here for Swiss chard and pinto bean burritos. That sounds horrible. What's going on, Rebecca? Jimmy Chungus. It doesn't need more water. It's actually fine, just like that. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> Must 
Mushroom. Mushroom is super. <laughs> There's glass everywhere. Ooh, beef enchiladas. Yes. <laughs> they do kind of look like bloody turds with melted cheese on them. <laughs> it does. Looks like something you'd see out of uh, out of reboot. I was <laughs> just dicking around in there. <laughs> yes. Oh, so Craig, you'll 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 appreciate this. There's a guy in a Discord server that somehow I was made mod of. It's relatively small, and he got all pissy every time I changed his name. So I continue. I just change his name every time I see him talk. And the latest. <laughs> Latest name I gave him was Fliberty Gibbets. <laughs> there was one guy. No, oh, that's a good one. I could do that. You do whatever you want with that, Rebecca. Cheese whiz. He does sound like a cheese whiz. Some turkey lips and cheese whiz. Yeah, I just I like Fliberty Gibbets. Another guy I called. No, I haven't told him about the cheese whiz. <laughs> told her about the cheese whiz. <laughs> it was like half a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> Did you? I sent you a picture of the beef enchiladas. They look like bloody diarrhea logs with melted cheese on top. <laughs> your your plane didn't go far. Yeah, they 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 put a prolapsed jelly. Oh God. <laughs> No. They do have chicken enchiladas, roasted black bean enchiladas. Roasted prolapsed cowiness, Craig, with melted cheese on top. Melted cheese on top. Yes. There's cheese enchiladas, pastel azteca. Oh, that looks like a, a chicken casserole. Yeah. Corn tortillas layered with chicken and cheese and enchilada sauce. And Monterey Jack and queso fr That sounds awesome. <laughs> that sounds great. No. That's a plus, I think. <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> what did you find? <laughs> Every time I review food from now on, <laughs> I'm going to just be like, wow, there was a great benefit and that it did not look like <laughs> 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 Look, the roasting, <laughs> the roasting transforms it entirely. With with melted cheese on top. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, arroz con pollo. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Grilled chicken fajitas. <laughs> on. <laughs> Oh, really? Why 
<laughs> Waiting for it to go away. Sinaloa style, Craig. Sinaloa style grill roasted chickens. I'm surprised there's no beheaded people here. <laughs> it does have that benefit that it does not look. <laughs> that actually flew a lot better that time, Rebecca. It landed safely, and now I need to do this stuff. I think albondias are rice meatballs. Hmm. <laughs> God damn it, Craig. <laughs> Just waiting for these to disappear. Craig, if you upload this video to YouTube, it needs to be called uh, Anus, Anus, Anus de Vaca Prolapsada. 